Number one, Arachnus aulea, the Aulian tiger moth. This incredible moth has super bright colors to advertise the fact it is toxic. Or perhaps it is just trying to rebel against its parents. You don't understand, daddy. I need to expose myself just for TikTok views. That's how I express myself. It's found from Southern Arizona in the United States to Guatemala. Number two, the black witch moth, Ascalafa odorata. According to a lot of superstitious people, this moth brings bad luck and is associated with black magic. I think it's real considering I have no real job besides posting moth videos from my basement. Yikes, don't touch these animals guys. This species is a resident from the southern United States to Argentina, but can migrate all the way up to Canada as well. Trabala Vishnu, what a weird name. These awesome moths from Asia perfectly resemble a leaf, however, how cool is that? Haters would say it's not very impressive, but they are probably too neurotypical to appreciate it. This species is sometimes regarded as a minor pest because the caterpillars feed on crops such as tea plant, but it also loves sea buckthorn and rose myrtle. That's why they, call, they are called the rose myrtle lapid moth. Number four, look at this colorful beastie. Its colors are begging for attention. This is Arctiakaya or the garden tiger moth. And as its appearance suggests, it is also poisonous. This species is found in parts of temperate Asia, Europe and America, so it must be doing something right. Don't worry, touching it is harmless, it's only harmful if swallowed. Never swallow what you are unfamiliar with, no matter how much they pay you. Number 5. Okay, this one is more famous, the Hickory Horned Devil or the Royal Walnut Moth. I expect my viewers to recognize this one at least. If not, you really need to watch more of my videos, seriously. This is one of the biggest pieces of moth in the eastern half of the United States, but also Canada. It's gorgeous too, with a velvet appearance and beautiful red and gray stripes. So amazing, so cool, so pretty, so breathtaking, so mind-boggling, so jaw-dropping, so awe-inspiring. Number 6 is a really rare moth. In fact, it was only recently described to science. This moth is found in only a very small part of Mexico and nowhere else in the world. There are less than a handful of people in the world who have studied and observed their life cycle. And I am one of those people, of course, because I study moths for a living. Apart from also being a YouTuber that films insects. A perfect combination. These moths like to show their colorful abdomens to intimidate enemies, but they are just bluffing, for in reality they are harmless. Pretty in pink. The elephant hog moth is a pink species of hog moth. What? It is found in parts of Asia and Europe and their pinkness would bring many people joy if not for the fact they exclusively fly at night when no one can see them. Darn, that's like drinking alcohol-free vodka or banning or firing people from their jobs when they criticize you while you claim to be a free speech advocate. That kind of defeats the point. But if you're lucky, you will see them near porch lights or gas stations because they are very attracted to artificial light. Oh, come on. Everybody knows the Luna Moth at least, right? This one is the popular kid in school. I compare everything to high school because I haven't had any personal development for the past decade. This moth is found in the eastern United States, Canada and a part of Mexico. Birds found preferably in forests or suburbs with plenty of trees. Most people judge them by their spectacular looks, but their personality is pretty nice too. It is not true that something with good looks must have had a bad personality. That's a myth created by ugly people, because ugly people do have a worse personality. Just kidding! Let's not stereotype. The Dark Lunar Emperor Moth, whoa, this amazing beast from Africa never fails to impress. They are huge too, it's one of the coolest moths I have filmed so far and yes guys, I film all the moths on this channel myself. I don't borrow footage or images from other channels and add my own commentary over it like some other clickbaiters do, you know who you are. I go out of my way to locate and film my own insects. A lot of channels just steal my pictures and videos, so I'm glad you're checking out my original content. These moths are found in the rainforest of some African countries.
Number 10 is a really special one because it has pastel pink and yellow colors. Meet the Autumn Emperor moth from Europe. This fantastic but uncommon creature only lives for a few days. Females tend to be orange while males are yellow. They are called the Autumn Emperor moths because they fly near freezing temperatures in autumn and they have amazing cold resistance. Booyah! They also have a super cute face. Aw, I wish I could hug them without squishing them. But this one is called the Zigzag Emperor Moth because it has gorgeous zigzag lines. Uh, this species is from South Africa and adjacent countries and they are truly a work of art. -hoo 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 -hoo. Guys, I'm not acting crazy for views. I'm truly this enthusiastic about moths. <laughs> I promise you I'm not on any substances. <laughs> Ooh! Anyway guys, this amazing moth is one that I sure had to put in this top 20. Wow, this moth is incredibly shiny. Look at how glittery it is. It reminds me of the makeup of certain YouTubers that do makeup videos, doesn't it? Well, both of them are toxic it seems, so there are parallels. Hi sisters. But unlike those certain YouTubers, these moths can be trusted around children because they are harmless to people. To predators such as birds that want to eat them, however, they are poisonous and their color signals that. This is a Macros name species from the southeast Brazil that is not yet identified. I'm working on the species name. Sometimes the genus name is enough, so that's okay. Yo, we need some hawk moth representation in here. Usually hawk moths are less colorful, but there are exceptions. I was impressed by the color pattern of this species in particular. It's called the porcelain hawk moth or Calionima species. It's found in the southeast Brazil when I was researching butterflies and moths in the rainforest. That's right, I have videos about it on my channel too. Hog moths are very important for the environment because some species have a long proboscis that allows them to pollinate plants such as rare orchids. Speaking of a long proboscis, this species has the world record for the longest proboscis in the world. This is Amphimuea walkeri, also known as Darwin's Sphinx moth, and their proboscis holds the world record for the longest proboscis of any species of butterfly or moth. Don't worry guys, I'm experienced and me holding it like this does not hurt or injure the moth. And if you are careful, it's okay to handle them. This moth is also one of the biggest species of hot moth in the world. And in the rainforest, they have co-evolved with rare flowers, such as some of the orchids I mentioned before, but also other specialized plants that rely on pollination from hot moths with a long proboscis. This one is called the ghostly silk moth. Thankfully, I don't believe in ghosts. But the gothic people of our world will love this species with its spooky dark black and white appearance. This species is endemic to Madagascar and is found nowhere else in the world. It looks like it is wearing a wedding veil to be honest. It is fantastically beautiful, one fantastic animal to sim for. Wow 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 wow. They are often farmed in Madagascar and the cocoons are exported to butterfly houses and zoos around the globe. Next up is the Poos Moth, and this pussy is cute. Found in parts of temperate Asia, Europe and North Africa, the Poos Moth has one generation a year and completes its life cycle on willow and poplar tree. It really is a cute and fantastic animal, but don't let them hear it because you know what they say, don't put pussy on a pedestal. I would like to tell you more about this species, but I can't, but because of the TikTokification of YouTube, all my content has to be short now to cater to kids with ADHD. Thank you, TikTok. Next one. Chromia von Letty is a highly colorful rainbow moth species from tropical Africa. Now these sweeties complete their life cycles on toxic plants, such as sweet potato and relatives of bindweed. Their larvae are yellow and hairy and I was lucky enough to be one of the few breeders in the world who have raised this species in captivity. They are absolutely gorgeous. The white witch moth is the largest moth in the world. Now some nerds like to argue over this fact because largest is kind of subjective. For example, there are other species with a larger wing surface area 
or that have a larger or heavier weight, for example, or body mass. But to be honest, when it comes to flying insects, it's all about wingspan, okay? Don't be under it. And this moth has the largest wingspan in the world, so that makes it the largest species of moth in the world. There is no other species of flying insect with longer wings from wingtip to wingtip. The world record horn holder is 31 centimeters or 310 millimeters. For the Americans watching this video who don't use the metric system, that's about the size of three Big Macs in a row. Crazy, isn't it? And to make it even more crazy, not much is known about the caterpillars or the life cycle at all. This one is called the relict or the white underwing moth. Found in the northern United States and Canada, these moths are perfectly camouflaged on the white bark of birch trees. What a fantastic species. I would tell you more about it, but I have to pee. Let me put on some music so you can admire the insect. Yo, this moth may look plain and gray, but it is in reality one of the rarest species of moth in the world. I am not lying. It is found only in Italy, in the vicinity of just one single volcano, the Monte Volture. This species is endemic to a small area, smaller than 50 square kilometers, which in all honestly makes it one of the rarest moth species in the entire world and one of the rarest animals in Europe. I hope you enjoyed this countdown of insects. If you want to learn more about some of the species in this video, look them up on my channel because I have longer videos to talk about their biology too. And if you want to learn more about butterflies and moths, I have fantastic news because I made over 1500 butterfly and moth videos on my YouTube channel because I am very sick. I'm a very sick man. So if you go to my channel and subscribe, you can watch countless butterfly and moth biology videos that hopefully you will enjoy. Even though some of them are really silly, I do work hard on them and it is a lot of effort to film all these insects myself.